Coming up later, Paige Hemis shows you how to give your upholstery new life with paint. Well, just in time for the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade, Dan Kohler, Tanya Meme have teamed up to become one giant hot air balloon. Yeah, that's and, that, and that's their entry. That's what they're putting in the Macy's Day but Parade. But it's very yeah. popular. You see the kids ask questions all the time, like, how do they stay afloat, yeah. Dad? How yeah. Well, we're going to make a little one today for kids, but we're yes. going to start by addressing the helium aspect to in, this. Indeed, and I think you uh, you sort of address my favorite part of it, which is balloons in the skyline are always beautiful, whether they're mm -hmm. hot air balloons or the helium balloons that we use over Thanksgiving. And I think we've even got some footage of the Macy's Day Parade because these balloons are unbelievable. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, they're they, they are in, they're enormous. Well, that's actually real. But um, <laughs> And the, the science and the construction right. that goes behind that is really impressive. And, and today we're going to look, look at how those balloons stay in the air. And I actually have some some muscle in the nerd tank right now, right? I've got, <laughs> right. Ashley here, too, is, is going to be here, right? You so guys. It's, it's the nerds on this end versus the crafters yeah. on that end with Molly and Tanya. Uh, so, yeah, you know. Okay. You know. So when we're looking at balloons in the air, whether it's hot air or helium, we're looking at, at air density, really. So helium is less dense than regular oxygen. The That's oxygen. Uh, regular oxygen. Over here. Right. That's exactly, right. what, you're <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what you were going to say. Now we can, we, so people often ask, how do those balloons just stay up in the air? And you can see right here we've got one, down there we've got a beautiful one that Tanya's made. The best example for your kids to figure this out is if you just take a little bouncy ball, mm -hmm. we know this is filled with regular air, right? This is filled with the air that we breathe. And if you try to put it in a bowl of water and push it to the bottom, it won't stay there, right? It will float to the top in the same way that helium will always float above the air because the weight of the air in here plus the ball will always weigh less than the exact same amount of water that it's displacing, right? So this is all about aggregate weights. So right here, the weight of the helium and the balloon together weigh less than that exact same amount of oxygen. In fact, helium is, is about one quarter the weight of oxygen. It's very light. Mm. Now, when we're talking about hot air, because hot air is actually just the air that we're breathing, but it's heated up. So heat is energy. And when we apply energy to molecules, what happens? They expand. Exactly! Why? So, <laughs> talking see the shaking of the voice. We're talking to our real we're talking to another yeah, scientist. Well, that's what I said. It's, yeah. it's the nerds versus the crafters. Right. Right. He, he knew he was on, knew he was on the trap yeah. door. He had an right. right. here. He was gone. So when you heat molecules up, they begin to move, and they're moving violently, and as they move, they're expanding. So with a hot air balloon, actually, it's the air that we're breathing, but because those molecules are moving around, it's the same number of molecules that, that uh, expand over a, a larger area, and when they're over a larger area, but the same number of molecules, they well, are less dense, well, and so they float above. Well, why, how does it change our voices, and why does it ex make your brain feel? Yes. Why, why does it make wait, your brain wait, feel like it's Ashley, let's ask Ashley yeah. that question. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Let <laughs> <laughs> me add to that. So the interesting thing about helium, most people think that think it's actually... Think that they are... Yeah, no, no, exactly. there you go. I'll, I'll finish it, yeah. So they think that it's changing the pitch of the pitch voice, Pitch of the right? voice, yeah, but... Yeah. But actually, fact. the vibration <laughs> right. of your vocal cords, that frequency, is staying the same, right? Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's changing is the speed of the air that's coming out of your lungs. And when mo air moves faster, oh, it's a higher lungs. pitch. <gasps> really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tanya, I think Tanya. it's time for you to take it away. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to say don't try what we did earlier today at home, especially if you're a kid. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, and say, actually, don't try it at home. Don't try it at home. Don't think yeah. what this is about. And yeah. by the way, Dan, Dan prepared for this segment, so don't feel yeah. bad. Okay. okay, so we're going to move on with the DIY, which is not as complicated. And, um, you want to take your piece of net, there's a fishing net, these are all the tools, you need a fishing net, a, a plate, your little Dixie cup or coffee cup, your balloons, your scissors, decorative paper for the little flags, and some yarn. You, the whole object here is getting things that are light, because this, there's not a whole lot of helium in here, and how did I, how do I know this? How do you know that? <laughs> because She's I made it. a lot of things, <laughs> they're all floating up there. <laughs> okay. So up there on the ceiling, yeah, you're yeah. right. There's at least four. Yes. Look at that. So, well, we don't really have to look at it. But anyway, so the first thing you want to there's do There's one. Is, look, there's the other one. Yeah, up yeah. There. You got to show it. Don't offer that, right? You think I'm lying? Um, so you take your net, you spread it out, and I have a plate here just so that you get sort of a round shape, and also it sort of holds it in, in place. And you're going to cut about one to two inches all the way around, just like that, and then you're gonna place it ever so carefully. Oh wait, before you place it, wait, 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 we gotta, first of all, take your yarn. You're gonna cut eight strings, long strings from your yarn. Now, of course, this is a thin yarn, and you're gonna, you're gonna um, intersperse them just equally all the way around your cut net, and then you take the whole piece, 
and ever so carefully place it over your balloon. Make sure when you're doing this that your balloon is actually secured so it doesn't float away, because it will. <laughs> <laughs> once you've done that, you then can attach it to your cup. You can decorate your cup if you want ahead of time or not. And the last finishing touch is you put on your little flags. And then mm. you cut. Very sweet. This. How did you put them on? Did they, right. did they stick together? Yeah. I, I I actually yeah. glued these on with oh, a hot glue gun. Okay. And then you snip, because right here is where it was secured to the table, you snip it and then it actually floats. If I was to let this go, it would float. <laughs> but I think <laughs> I'm gonna bring it home to Ava and let her <laughs> let it come outside in the backyard. Would you just love that? <laughs> well, we have more details available for you on our Pinterest page on how we made all of this happen and Ashley will be there and he'll help you through <laughs> any yeah. complicated yeah. questions you may have. Yeah. Uh, and more on Tanya and Dan by visiting their websites at the bottom of your screen right there. Right. We're gonna come back and it's time to get exercised, Debbie. I think. Debbie, 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 do some Debbie. difficult math for us. The hottest in workout fashions when we come back. Not only are they fashionable, but they're also functional.